If the crystal B is further rotated, the intensity of light coming out of it gradually increases and is maximum again when the two crystals are parallel. This experiment shows conclusively that light is not propagated as longitudinal or compressional waves. If we consider the propagation of light as a longitudinal wave motion, then no extinction of light should occur when the crystal B is rotated. It is clear that after passing through the crystal A, the light waves vibrate only in one direction. Therefore, light coming out of the crystal A is said to be polarized because it has acquired the property of one-sidedness with regard to the direction of the rays. This experiment passes that light waves are transverse waves. Otherwise, light coming out of B could never be extinguished by simply rotating the crystal B. Plane of Polarization When ordinary light is passes through a, a tourmaline crystal, the light is polarized and vibrations are confined to only one direction perpendicular to the direction of propagation of light. This is plain polarized light and has acquired the property of one-sidedness. The plane of polarization is that plane in which no vibrations occur. The plane ABCD is a plane of polarization and the plane in which vibrations occur at right angles to the plane of polarization and the plane in which vibrations occur is known as plane of vibration. The plane EFGH is a plane of vibration. Ordinary light from a source has a very large number of wavelengths. Moreover, the vibrations may be linear, circular or elliptical. In general, wave motion, circular or elliptical vibrations consists of two linear vibrations at right angles to each other and having a phase difference of pi by two. Therefore, any vibration can be resolved into two component vibrations at right angles to each other. As light waves are transverse waves, the vibrations can be resolved into two planes, x, x dash, and y, y dash, at right angles to each other, and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of light. The vibrations of the particles are represented parallel, arrowheads, and perpendicular to the plane of the paper, dots. The vibrations are shown only parallel to the plane of the paper. In figure, the vibrations are represented only perpendicular to the plane of the paper.